am the best at this. Nah, you ain't gonna mess with this. Ever heard of what the veteran is? I work hard and the most to be with the realest. Never stop training, cause I'm the best at this. Dad and his dad very passionate Carlton supporters, so he didn't have a lot of choice growing up. Although mum's family's all Essendon, so there was a little bit of a power struggle when we were younger. I saw the light and managed to follow the Blues myself. I remember as a kid travelling down from, from Bendigo to Melbourne watching the Blues play, sitting at the very top row of Colonial Stadium as it was back then, and you know, they're my fondest memories, you know, being a, as a family. You know, I love hanging my scarf out the window when we won, and you'd walk from the car park or wherever you were going from, and there was thousands of people doing the same thing that you were, and everyone celebrating was a really cool thing as a kid. Pops running down, three-point attempt is good. Picked up my first basketball when I was around about four, and I went just along to the under 10 training. I wasn't allowed at that age to play games, which frustrated me as a four-year-old, so got my fix by training with the under 10s. Was fortunate enough to get a scholarship to the AIS when I was 15, so moved away from home up into an elite environment at a pretty young age. From there, went on and played, had a 10-year professional career in the WNBL here, played over 150 games, and then, you know, I suppose got to 25, and was probably a bit of a crossroads with where my basketball career was going. I'd just finished university and I, f I felt for me that I, I still needed a, a challenge. I wanted something to ex you know, get me excited and, and basketball at that point in time wasn't doing that for me. Footy fans coming from far and wide to witness a unique piece of football history. There were some girls who were playing from Bendigo in that game, so that's the reason that I was there. Um, I was down there supporting them and I was actually um, I was really jealous of these girls running around getting to play a game that I grew up loving you know, watching and supporting, and they were getting the opportunity on the national stage to, to play that game. And I came away from that game, and that was probably for me the, I suppose, a line in the sand moment where I went, you know what, I, I really want to actually be part of this. I can see the potential that this has, this game has, and the influence that it has on, on people. I didn't really know if I wanted to do it, but it was also scary enough that I wanted to try it. That, you know, lockout was just an unbelievable thing. And people will still talk about that, I think, in 10, 20, 30 years' time, about what happened that first night. And I'm so thankful that I was there because if I wasn't there, perhaps I wouldn't be in the position that I am today. I studied physiotherapy along the way as well and, and now find myself being a physio in the AFL and playing AFLW as well. Connor trying to track Harrington, who's got the pace and the goal to get away. Hosky back to Harrington. There's been so many times throughout my childhood where my dad, he had two girls, so myself and my sister, and he would always say jokingly, oh, you know, all I wanted was a halfback flank of the Carlton. That's all he wanted. And, um, you know, I, I never took that personally, but that night when I got to pull on the jumper for the first time, not as a supporter, but as a player, you know, I, I felt like, you know, I'd made it almost from a, from a family point of view. And, you know, I got to make my parents proud. I got to make my family proud. I got to make myself proud. And because I had such a burning passion for this football club, I felt like I was able to, you know, contribute to the history of, of the club, which already had such a great history. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a really cool experience and, you know, something that I don't take for granted every time I do get to put on the, the jumper.